Hiya! Welcome to my channel. I am Nani and I am a Brazilian living in the UK. Uh, so I'm very happy this week uh, because this week we completed uh, last week, actually because this air on Sunday. So anyways, um, we completed three years living outside Brazil and two years living here in England. So we are celebrating. And if you are new in my channel, if you never saw any of my videos, um, when I say, let me just explain, <laughs> when I say we, I mean me and my husband, uh, he's also Brazilian. And three years ago, we decided to leave Brazil and try a new life in a new country. And we stayed one year in Portugal and it was good, it was a good experience, but we didn't adapt there very well for a lot of reasons that no, there's no need for me to say them here. And then we decided to come to England, where we have been living happily uh, ever since, <laughs> okay? And for this video, I thought I would... Uh, actually, I took a suggestion of uh, one of my subscribers. Uh, her name is Heather Stephens. I hope I pronounce him right. <laughs> um, she uh, suggested that I would, could do a video telling what Brazil and Portugal do better than uh, England. And uh, it was a great suggestion, but I hope you don't mind, Heather, but I changed it a little bit. Uh, actually, I thought about have some topics that I'm going to compare the three countries and see in those topics which country is better, which is second place and which one loses, <laughs> okay? Just reminding that this is just my opinion uh, based in my experience, in my reality, okay? Uh, if you have a different opinion, that's absolutely fine, <laughs> okay? Uh, people have different opinions, that's normal, and that's what makes... Uh, that's what makes us beautiful, <laughs> you know, uh, as humans, you know? We can uh, discuss ideas and have different opinions and, that, and have different experiences, and that's fine. Okay, so this is just based on my opinion, in my experience, and you are very welcome to agree or disagree with me. I just hope that you enjoy this video and that it, it is interesting for you. Okay, so let's start. Okay, first thing, it's the first topic that I chose, it is the most important topic there is in life, that is the food. You know, food is important, Without food, we don't live, and I love to eat, and it's the more, more, most important of all. So, in this topic, Brazil, in my opinion, wins. Because it's not just because I am from Brazil, okay, it's not just that, but it's because uh, Brazil has such an amazing variety of food, you know, it's uh, every part of Brazil is going to have a different uh, typical food, completely different from the other parts of Brazil, you know, it's amazing. It's such a variety of fruits, of vegetables, of, of everything, you know, it's amazing. Like, just, just imagine that every part of Brazil has a different way of, do, of doing hot dog. Like, Sao Paulo prepared hot dog one way, Rio de Janeiro prepared another way, Bahia, uh, Mato Grosso, Rio Grande do Sul, everywhere in Brazil is a different, there is a different way of preparing the hot dog and it's completely, completely different from one place to the other. It's mind-blowing actually and it's really fun and I think that's why Brazil wins, you know, it's the food is amazing and it's very different, you know, the, anything that you like, you can find somewhere in, in Brazil. It's awesome and it's delicious. Everything is delicious. <laughs> so that's why Brazil wins. And second place goes to Portugal in this topic. Um, because I think the food in Portugal is not heavy, you know, they have a lot of 
uh, dishes with codfish and which I love you know a lot of uh, olive oil and I, I think it's uh, very good I, I really like it and I really miss it <laughs> um, when all this pandemic thing ends uh, I'm really planning to go to Portugal to travel yes but mostly to eat because I really miss the food there and also the pastel de nata you know that that sweet uh, uh, from Portugal uh, pastel de nata or pastel de Belém if it comes from Belém uh, it's oh it's amazing it's delicious I love it so second place go to Portugal and sorry England but you lost that one it's not that I don't like the food here I do like the food here some things I don't like but that's normal I don't like some things in Portugal and some things in Brazil too but comparing you lose sorry just my opinion okay it's just for my taste okay uh, but I do like the food here just is not the best comparing to Portugal and Brazil okay okay second thing uh, one thing that I like very much as you can see as you can see here here <laughs> I really like music and rock music yeah uh, so yeah in this topic England of course Queens you know England has such such amazing bands like uh, Iron Maiden uh, here the Rolling Stones here Black Sabbath here <laughs> um, uh, the Beatles, uh, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, uh, Saxon, uh, did I say Iron Maiden? I, I did. <laughs> this is a t-shirt from the last time that they played in Brazil. Uh, I was there on my holiday at the time and they were playing there, it was awesome. And um, it's amazing, you know, and it, it's funny because uh, all right, of course, I knew that all these bands came from England, uh, but I never thought all of, of all of them together, you know. And after I moved here, I started to think and I say, oh my God, I'm, I'm living in the same country that so many bands were born, you know. It's like my mind went... It, it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was amazing. It was amazing too. Like, I, I knew this... You know, when I thought about the band separately, separately, you know what I mean. <laughs> the I had never thought of them together. And when I when I was living here, when I started living here, I was oh my god, so many bands, so many bands came here, came from here. It's amazing, England. So yes, you win. Music here, the bands here, amazing. Okay, and second place will go to Brazil uh not only uh not only talking about rock music here okay uh, because brazil do have a, a lot of uh, rock bands and a lot of great metal bands too like sepultura everybody knows it but um but it's not just that i i think thinking about music in general brazil has a great variety you know as a, as in everything else like a great variety of food of music, of people, of everything. So, um, like for example, Brazil has samba, uh, axé, pagode, forró, uh, shot, sertanejo, um, chorinho, bossa nova. Uh, I don't know lambada. Uh, what else? I don't even know. Brazil has a lot of types of music. Up oh, MPB. MPB means it's uh, Musica Popular Brasileira, it means uh, Brazilian popular music. So it's a lot, it's a lot, you know, it's something for every taste. It, there is also um, Brazilian funk, you know, funk carioca, as we call it. It's, for me, is the worst, you know, I really don't like it. But anyways, it's there, <laughs> you know, if... There's, there's people that like so anyways there's something for every taste and it's amazing it's there's so many also so many great uh, singers and bands and so many great types of music you know so yeah Brazil is second place here 
and Portugal you lost this one <laughs> uh, actually I don't know maybe I don't know music from Portugal very well um, like typical music music from Portugal I only know Fado and to be honest I don't like it very much so sorry Portugal you lose that one okay third thing try to go very fast a, a little faster here because the video is already a bit a bit long okay the third thing it's uh one thing that was important in this process of move, moving to another country like um the things that we have to do the documents that we go they have to go after and the things that we have to sort out and it is the bureaucracy uh i don't know if i pronounce it pronouncing it right but anyways you know so um i think in this topic as less bureaucratic place country uh it is england wins like here things i think they are very easy to solve you know of course a little bureaucracy uh, there's always going to be you know a little bureaucracy but uh in general it's very simple you know uh, it's very simple to use the the government uh, gov.uk you know the the website for the government uh it, it everything is simple you know that it's it's like they don't want to make it so difficult more difficult than it that it already is I, I don't know anyways i don't know if i, I if i am explaining uh, it right but um things here are very easy to solve and comparing you know comparing to portugal and brazil in these two countries i think it's a tie brazil and portugal brazil because i never lived there as an immigrant so i don't know how it is to solve the same things that i had to solve here and in portugal but as a brazilian person you know that i, I live most of my life there uh, i know that for th other things it is very bureaucratic and it's so unnecessary you know after living here i see that we could make things so much easier but anyways and Portugal is the same uh, for the things that we had to sort out comparing here and Portugal because it was kind of the same document, you know, the residence card, insurance number, these kind of things. Portugal was much more bureaucratic. Uh, it was much more complicated. Sometimes it wasn't just the bureaucracy, but just people making it complicated, you know, uh, unnecessarily. So I think maybe Portugal and Brazil maybe it's a tie and England wins the less bureaucratic thank you okay and the last topic because I don't want to make this video too long uh, the last topic is also one thing that was very important for me and my husband when we decided to move to another country that is the safety okay um, I feel very safe here in England and I felt very safe in Portugal too uh, I, me personally, I never experienced um, violence or I never been robbed here or in Portugal, you know, you know so, uh, so I feel pretty safe in both countries. Uh, so from my experience, I really don't know how to choose, uh, but researching, I saw that Portugal is considered the third most, the third safest place the, the third safest country in the world uh, so because of that I'm going to make it the first in, in my list here in this top Portugal wins okay I, I really felt uh, very very comfortable very safe there the only problem was actually uh, related to prejudice you know there is still a lot of prejudice uh, towards Brazilian people not everybody not everywhere of course there's a lot of uh we also uh, uh ran into a lot of great portuguese people amazing people you know but we also experienced some prejudice too but okay that's fine that happens uh it, it's not it's not the the it's not the point here <laughs> okay um but yeah we felt safe there and i think england in my list makes second place because sorry second place 
because um, I feel pretty safe here too. And of, okay, I live in the countryside and I think it's safer than bigger uh, cities or something, you know, but in general, I feel more safe here. And in Brazil, yes, Brazil is, there is violence in Brazil not everywhere okay some places more than others and but i think if you see brazil as as the huge country that it is um it's not so dangerous okay it's just that where i lived in in brazil in sao paulo uh sao paulo is a metropolis you know it's huge it's a huge city so yeah it's going to be dangerous like a lot of huge cities in the world you know uh but the thing is in brazil like in sao paulo we had to learn to be alert all times you know like you you're doing your thing and you're alert with uh what happening around you you know uh it was a weird feeling like be losing this alert mode you know, when we uh, moved to, to Portugal and then here, it's like, I don't feel that anymore. You know, I don't have to, you know, of course I am uh, cautious, you know, depending on where I am, what I'm doing, but it's not that alert all the time mode, you know, and it, it was so weird when we went to Brazil uh, to visit in, on a holiday and we had to feel that alert all the time mode again, you know, it, you know, because your head, no, of course, yeah, I know that is not natural, it's not a natural feeling, but I could actually feel that it was unnatural, you know, I, it was uh, very unpleasant, you know, to, to feel that again, and, um, but I don't want to scare you, you know, if you want to go to Brazil, go, uh, there's a lot of great places that are not dangerous at all in Brazil that you, I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, you just have to research where you're going, you know, uh, where to stay, what to see, and that's all. But yeah, as, uh, comparing as, I mean, when I see my experience, you know, but because I lived in Sao Paulo and then I went to Portugal and now here in the countryside, in my experience, Portugal will be the first, anyway, uh, but I feel pretty safe here too, so England second, and Brazil the last. And that's it, guys. Uh, it was just four topics because I don't want to make the video very long, but if you like this video, if it was interesting for you, if you want me to do a part two, two, sorry, <laughs> if you want me to do a part two, tell me you know, uh, if you want to leave some suggestions for a part two for things to compare these countries or suggestions for another video, you know, please leave here in the comments. I'm, I am really loving to read the comments. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. And thank you so much for watching. Really, let's all celebrate these three years outside Brazil and these two years of me, leave me and my husband living here in England. Uh, I also want to thank you all uh, for the kind messages, for the kind comments. Uh, I feel, I already felt very welcome here and I'm feeling even more welcome is uh, amazing. I, I, I don't even know what to say. So I just want to thank you very much for that. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next Sunday. Okay, bye.